our final colligative property that we'll talk about is osmotic pressure. In osmosis, the solvent of a solution will travel across a semi-permeable membrane into a solution that has a higher solute concentration. The pressure required to stop the solvent from going through this um, membrane is osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure can be described using the relationship here, pi, which is osmotic pressure, equal to I times molarity times the universal gas constant times the temperature in Kelvin. Now we can use this relationship to solve for many things. In this particular example, we have lysosome is an enzyme that breaks bacterial cell walls. A solution containing 0.150 grams of this enzyme in 210 milliliters of solution has an osmotic pressure of 0.953 torr at 25 degrees Celsius. What is the molar mass of lysozyme? Now, let's look at what we have, what we know. I is given from the substance that is being studied. Lysozyme is a molecular substance, thus when it, it will not dissociate into different particles in solution, so I is simply 1. That's a 1 in parentheses. We're not given the molar mass, we're given information that we can use to find the molar mass, so we'll get to that later. R is a constant, it's 0 0.08206 atmospheres times liters per mole Kelvin. Our temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, which we know is 298 Kelvin. Our, our osmotic pressure is 0 0.953 torr, and we know that there are 760 torr per one atmosphere. So if we were to make this conversion, we would divide 0.953 torr by 760, getting in an osmotic pressure of zero point zero zero one two five atmospheres. Alrighty, and since we do have some more variables, I'll go over here. We're given a volume of 210 milliliters of solution that obviously breaks down to 0 0.210 liters of solution. And now from here, we can solve for the molar mass. We know that molar mass is the mass of our sample, or the mass of lysozyme, divided by how many grams of lysozyme we have in the sample as well, so grams per mole. You can figure that out by using or finding moles from the molarity here. So I'm going to solve for molarity. And molarity is number of moles per volume of solution. And if we rearrange this equation here, if this is big M, molarity will be equal to Osmotic pressure divided by R and T, and I is there too, but it's understood to be 1. So if we take that relationship, N over V equals pi over R T I, we're going to be solving for number of moles, so we can even rearrange this even further to N equals pi times V over R T I and solve for N. So N equals pi, which we've converted now to atmosphere so it can match the units in our universal gas constant R 0 0.00125 atmospheres times the volume which is converted to liters to match the units in our universal gas constant 
divided by r, which is 0 0.08206 atmospheres per liter. Sorry, atmospheres times liter per mole Kelvin. And our temperature, which is 298 Kelvin times I, which is 1. If we do this, our number of moles equals 1.08 times 10 to the negative 5 moles of lysozyme. Now, originally in the problem, it said that we had a sample of 0 0.150 grams of lysozyme. So that's our number of moles. Our mass is 0 0.150 grams. So our molar mass would be our, sorry, our number of grams, which is 0 0.150 grams, divided by the number of moles. giving me my molar mass for lysozyme.